All right, y'all, a bravazo. Now, what can I say about this horse? I gotta give him an Iron Horse Award here. Now, he ran in the Louisiana Derby last year. He got a win there. He ran in, um, or sorry, he ran the Risen Star Stakes, got a win there. He lost in the uh, Louisiana Derby. He ran the Kentucky Derby. He ran in the Preakness, um, finishing second. He ran in the Belmont Stakes. He ran in the Haskell. He ran in um, the Travers. He was second in the Haskell, third in the Travers. Uh, then he came back. Uh, he ran in the Pennsylvania Derby. Then he ran in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Uh, he was a third in that one. And then he ran in the Clark Handicap and lost uh, by a neck. Now he's back again to run in the Pegasus. So you got to give it to this horse. He's tough. He's out of uh, awesome again. Four-year-old Colt now. He's a 12 to 1 with Luis Saez back aboard, trained by D. Wayne Lucas. Um, he, he, he just proves, D. Wayne Lucas proves that you do not have to overrest your horses. You train your horse properly, you can get a lot of races out of that horse. Now, um, he hasn't been very successful at getting uh, wins, though. He hasn't had a win um, in quite some time now. I think his last win was, was back in the uh, Risen Star. Uh, but he's been competitive. Uh, so you got to watch out for Bravazo. He's very likely to be competitive again today. Um, his workouts have been um, okay. I mean, all these horses seem to have some good workouts, and that very last workout uh, is, is, is kind of weak. Um, some trainers just do that just to try to hide the condition of the horse. Uh, but he has been working out pretty well. Um, he's been uh, uh, productive in game, and you know he, he ran made one of his best races in a long time in that last race in the Clark uh, where he just lost that by a neck. Uh, so you're going to want to look for Bravazo. Uh, his biggest problem, in my opinion, is that he likes to come off the pace, but he comes too far off the pace. He just gets left behind in these races, and like in the Kentucky Derby, you know, Justify was out there, couldn't catch him. Uh, you know, in, in uh, Travers and the Haskell, same thing. He just kind of fell asleep by the time he got going. It was just too late. The other horses had better position. He doesn't have that kind of makeup speed to just dart from last to first. So what he needs to do is get into position. Now, when he won that Risen Star Stakes, he, he rode right off the pace. And uh, I think it was uh, Miguel Mena was riding him then that race. And um, you know, he was able to get that win because he was in good position to be able to take over. So today, today in order to win, he's going to need to stay up near where Accelerate's going to be. He at least needs to be right alongside or right behind Accelerate to have a chance uh, to get a victory today. Now, if it turns out being sloppy like it's very likely to be, uh, <clears throat> he, he may need to take the lead. He may need to take the lead or at least try to be um, second or alongside the leader to be able to win. Because if Bravazo falls asleep like he usually does, he's not going to be able to get up in time to get the win today. Unless they have a... Um, an incredibly pat, fast pace. Uh, if the slop doesn't affect uh, the race too much, um, and you, you, the pace gets out of control, which it could get out of control, if we have um, City of Light and uh, Pattern Recognition just really get into its duel, um, you know, Accelerate gets kind of anxious and wants to not let them get too far ahead, so he, he ends up pulling himself too close to the lead. Um, then you look for a horse like Bravazo to be able to score a win here if uh, all of the uh, the front runners and the stalkers run out of gas, which could happen today. I mean, it's all going to depend on the conditions and the control the uh, jockeys uh, have and the patience the jockeys have. But if that does happen, then that's a condition to where Bravazo could come up with the win today.